Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over all of the details about the brand new DLC epilogue event for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So the brand new epilogue event, which gives you the new mythical Pokemon, Picharond, is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can access this in your games as long as you've got a copy of the DLCs and you've complete certain things in your game. Earlier on today, the Pokemon company put out a tweet with a short video explaining that the new mythical item, the mystical Petra Berry, is now available to get via Mystery Gift. To get this in your game, you will need to come down to your Poker Portal Make sure you are connected to the internet and then get via internet. That is all you're going to need to do. This is a gift that doesn't have an expiration date at the moment. There's no information on the Pokemon website or any information stating when this mystery gift will end. So you'll be able to get this in the game at any point, even if you haven't complete certain things in your playthrough. Now, even if you have downloaded this mystery gift event, it will appear in your key items in your bag. There are certain things that you're going to have to do in game before you're able to do this epilogue or DLC event. So you can see here, Jan over on Twitter, download the mystery gift, the mythical Petra Berry from the mystery gift option, then talk to the purple plush thing in Peachy's counter in Kitakami. So what you need to do is go to Kitakami, go to Peachy's shop, and then speak to the plush toy, which is the replica of the Picharon Pokemon. As long as you've got the mystery gift item downloaded into your game, and then you speak to this, it will initiate the DLC, the epilogue story to begin. So basically what you're going to need to do is finish the base games of Scarlet and Violet. So that's all the Area Zero stuff. You're going to have to done the Ace Academy tournament. So that's going... After you finish the base games of Scarlet and Violet, beating all of the gym leaders once again, going and doing the Ace Academy tournament that the mourners arranged. Then with the DLC activated, beating the story in Kitakami and then doing all of the story in the Indigo Disc. Once you've done all of those things with the mystery gift downloaded, you'll be able to go to Kitakami once again to Peachy's shop, speak to the purple plush in the shop, and that will initiate the story for you to begin the final epilogue of Scarlet and Violet. Now, we're not going to go into too many details on the story here because I don't want to spoil anything for those that you are planning on playing the epilogue for yourselves. You go through a number of different things with Nimona, with Arvin and Penny who return to the story before you're able to encounter Picharond in your game and get this mythical Pokemon for yourself. When you do encounter it finally after the story, you will have a 100% catch rate. So you're going to be able to get it in any Pokeball that you want after you've defeated it in battle. So think about what Pokeball you will be getting. And if you have already caught it in your game, let me know down in the comment section below what you caught this brand new mythical Pokemon in. I caught mine in a Beast Ball. Uh, I was kind of tying with the Dream Ball as well. A lot of people in chat were talking about Dream Ball, Master Ball, Love Ball seems another really good option as well, but I went with the Beast Ball in the end, and that's how we got the Picharond, which is a new Ghost and Poison type Pokemon now available in Scarlet and Violet, and it is classified as a mythical Pokemon. This whole story, this epilogue, is based around you being able to obtain this Pokemon, but you've got to do certain things, like I said, in game before you can actually activate, initiate this epilogue for you to be able to complete get the Pokemon in your game. Now, if you do the epilogue and you catch the Picharon and you try and trade it into home at the moment, you aren't actually going to be able to. Matt Yukano over on Twitter did mention the newly released mythical Pokemon Picharon cannot be deposited into Pokemon home. Attempting to do so yields the error code 10015. Home mobile still lacks data related to the new Pokemon, even though epilogue is now released on the Switch version is fine. Good prep work guys so basically you can't trade it into home yet off the back of this we have had the announcement from pokemon and cerebi updated this earlier that pokemon home is to undergo maintenance on january the 12th from midnight to 3 a.m utc to add functionality for the epilogue pokemon from scarlet and violet the hidden treasures of area zero so just bear in mind that if you're watching this as of recording this video, you're not going to be able to deposit Picharunt into Pokemon Home. You'll have to wait for this update, which will be happening very soon, which will be like tomorrow as of recording this video. 
on Friday the 12th of January. So you're going to be able to deposit it very soon into Pokemon Home once that update is finished. But at the minute, if you're playing it, you will not be able to deposit it into Pokemon Home. Now, the other things you're going to be able to do in game once the epilogue is finished is when you come back into game after the end scene is finished, when you come back to the Academy in Paldea, you'll get a note if saying that new members, new trainers can be invited to the club room in the Blueberry Academy. Now, when you go back here, you're going to have the option when you come to invite coaches to the club room of Nimona, Arvin and Penny as options to bring into the club room. Now, just like the previous club room trainers, to get the gold circle around these trainers to finish them, you're going to have to invite them to the club room a total of three times. You will be able to battle them any one time that you do invite them to the club room. You don't necessarily need to battle them, but if you do battle them, you will get certain rewards for battling them. So for battling Arvin, you're going to get a special sandwich phone case uh, for battling and beating Penny. You will get the Eevee sandwich picks and for beating and battling Nimona, you will get a focus sash item. Now, when you've invited all of these new trainers three times to the club room, you will then initiate the trade screen with them, which will allow you to trade them a Pokemon and they'll trade you one of theirs with the special ribbon. So whenever you send this Pokemon out into battle, it will say Arvin's Pokemon or Penny's Pokemon or Nimona's Pokemon. When you've invited them for three times, the Pokemon that Arvin will trade you will be a Scorvet. So you will get a Eevee of Penny and you will also get a Taurus of Nimona. Now, once you've complete these three trainers, you will then be able to see Carmine and Kieran appearing in the club room as well. You will have three sets of dialogue with these trainers, as well as the opportunity to battle them. If you do battle Carmine and Beta, she will give you a pair of jork glasses that you can see here, and they're kind of fun. And if you beat Kieran when he comes into the club room, you will get a Blueberry Academy phone case. So they're the gifts that you get for beating them. You've got to have three separate bits of dialogue with them to change the club room members. The easiest way that I found on stream earlier was coming out of the club room to the entrance, dropping a save, closing my game and going down into system settings, down into system, then into date and time and moving the date forward one, then coming back and reloading into the game and then going back into the club room. This seemed to be the trick to initiate that next set of dialogue. You need to have three separate bits of dialogue with these trainers. And on the third time of speaking to these trainers, Carmine and Kieran, they will offer you a trade for their Pokemon as well. Carmine will offer you a Poltergeist, which will have that special ribbon saying it's Carmine's Poltergeist when it's sent out into battle. And Kieran will offer you up in Applin, which is Kieran's Applin, which is quite fitting for the whole story attached to Kieran. So that is everything that you're going to get in the club room attached to this epilogue adventure. So it will finally unlock everything. So you can see here, these are all the Pokemon that you will get from trades in the club room. There are a total of 30 Pokemon altogether. You're going to see you've got Arvin Squawver, you've got Nimona's Taurus, Penny's Eevee, Carmine's Poltergeist and then the Applin from Kieran as well. And like I say, you'll get those special ribbons attached to them that say the partner ribbon, which when they're sent out, it will be Kieran's Applin is sent out into battle, which is very cool. And they all can be applied to these. I think Penny's is probably the best one with the Eevee because you can evolve it into essentially any of the evolutions, which is very cool. And then that is that along with the Peacherunt as well, which is this brand new mythical Pokemon course it comes in at level 88 will be a poison and ghost type pokemon and will have the new move malignant chain which is very cool and that new ability poison puppeteer as well which is a very nice new ability no ribbon attached to it of course but a very cool pokemon nonetheless and like i say i caught mine in the beast ball would love to know what you caught yours in but that is basically all of the information that you need to know about the epilogue how to access it in game how to go and get it making sure that you've complete those aspects of the base game unlocking the Ace academy tournament and then completing the Kami and the indigo disc and then you'll be able to go to peachy's shop interact with the plush toy in peachy's and that after you've downloaded the mystery gift item of the mythical peachy berry it will initiate the story. And just one thing to note as well, the mythical Peacher Berry, once you have complete the epilogue, will disappear from your key items bag. So you will no longer have access to that. It will go 
but just to be aware that that item is gone once you complete this part of the story and that pretty much wraps up everything for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as of now I hope we do get some more continuations with it but with it being an epilogue that feels like it's the end of that story of these characters it's been one of my favorite Pokemon games I hope you have a lot of fun playing the epilogue yourself completing all these little quests with the club room as well and look out for that pokemon home update happening tomorrow as of recording this video so you're able to transfer peter on into pokemon home when that update is finished hope you found today's video useful friends thank you so much for coming by have a great rest of your day enjoy the epilogue i hope you have a lot of fun getting peter on as well in your games and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye